Hi, this is Infinity, and I'm going to show you today how I made the, uh, the coffee table wagon display box. Let's get a good look at it. Okay, so here's an overhead view of it. Right now, I am using this to display um, some matchbook collectibles. And you can see that I have the, uh, the handle tied up with rope. That's for safety to keep it out of the way so it doesn't fall on people's feet. Okay, the wheels and everything else are still on it. Okay. So the first order of business, as I said, is to get this handle tied up. So I used rope. That way, if you decide to use the wagon again, it's not permanently affixed. But in the meantime, while you have it in your living room, um, the handle won't flip and flop and go anywhere. So basically, this is the crux of the matter is this piece of plexiglass. Now, I don't know how well this is going to come out on film, but this is plexiglass. I cut it one inch larger around than the size of your wagon, one, so that it overhangs by one inch. There's a shape here cut out, and the reason that that shape is cut out is so that the, uh, the handle can lean into it, because if you leave it straight, you won't be able to get the handle to lean back. And then this is what gets it to sit in. So these are four um, acrylic or plexiglass rods. I bought exactly one foot of plexiglass rod off of eBay. And actually the seller voluntarily cut the, the one foot of rods into four pieces that were three inches long. So now this is also, it's not permanently affixed. So you can take this apart anytime and use it as a wagon. If you need a wagon for any reason, you just sit this back in so that the four plexiglass feet are inside the wagon. And now this doesn't go anywhere. It's, it's put. You just have to get these rods to sit in the very, very corner. And that's it. And um, you put whatever you want to display on the inside. And that's it. That's the whole job. Not much to it. Have fun.